the Lim Festival, about 20 kilometers away from Hanoi, Lim village of Bak Nin province is the hometown of Quan Ho folk songs, one of Vietnam's intangible cultural heritage. <laughs> Quan Ho Bak Nin is folk songs of Red River Delta, concentrates mainly in Kin Bak region, provinces of Bak Nin and Bak Yang. This is a kind of art composed by the elements of music, lyrics, costume, and festival. Quan Ho Bak Nin folk songs show close-knit relation between male singers, the Lianang, and female singers, Lian Chi, and our typical culture of Kin Bak region's people. Quan Ho folk songs pass from generation to generation through oral tradition and have the most melodies in Vietnam's folk song genres. Quan Ho folk songs are always performed voluntarily in groups of male Bon Nam or female Bon Nu each group usually has four to six people who are named by others such as second sister, third sister, fourth sister, or second brother, third brother, fourth brother, and so on. If the size of a group reaches seven or eight people, then they are divided into older siblings and younger siblings, named as third older sister, third younger sister, or third older brother, and third younger brother. Quan Ho folk songs are alternating response songs between the groups of male and female. A group of female from one village sings with a group of male from another village with similar melodies, but different lyrics, and always with alternating tunes. In each group, one person sings the leading tune and another sings a secondary part but the two should be in perfect harmony and at the same timbre. Quan Ho folk songs have 213 different melody variations and more than 400 song lyrics. A song lyric includes two parts and that is the text is the core of the song containing its base lyrics and the lyrics of Quan Ho folk songs derived from poems and folk verses of the Vietnam mostly six syllable and eight syllable verses, modified six syllable and eight syllable verses, and four syllable or mixed four syllable verses express people's emotional states in metaphorical language. And the secondary text includes words that are added to melodies such as e he u hu a ha. Quan Ho folk songs exist in a cultural environment with their own social customs. The first is friendship customs among Quan Ho villages. From the friendship custom, a special social custom appears among Quan Ho groups. It's friend-making custom. Each Quan Ho group from one village makes friends with another group from another village, following the principle that male groups make friends with female groups and vice versa with the friendship partner villages men and women in Quan Ho groups from these villages are now allowed to marry each other one particular characteristic of Quan Ho singing is the teaching and the dissemination through sleepover custom boys and girls from 9 to 16 or 17 years old invite each other to sleep over in their host's house to learn Quan Ho singing techniques. Male and female singers combine and practice their voices in pairs in order to have a unified timbre for performance. Quan Ho gastronomy uses phoenix wing-shaped quid of betel and areca, Thai Nguyen tea. In meal, it must use red tray or what they call as mum son, which is made of timber and painted red to express hosts' emotion to visitors. 
Dishes in the meal depend on each village's custom, but most include a plate of chicken, two plates of lean pork, paste, lean pork, especially no fat dishes to avoid damaging voice. In performance, the outfits of Kwan Ho are distinctive. The female costume includes Nan Thong Kuo Tao, the large round Kwan Ho hat, and the scarf for wrapping the hair, camisole, tunic, skirt, scarves tied about the waist, and slippers. And the male costume includes turban, umbrella, shirt, or robe, including undershirts, and long tunics with five pieces, trousers, and slippers. In order to enhance and promote the tradition of Kuan Ho singing, Lim Festival is eagerly celebrated among local residents as well as pilgrims from every part of the country around the 12th to the 13th day of the first lunar month. <laughs> Originally, Lim Festival aimed to worship Bamu, a child of Noi Du, Hamlet, who led her religious life as a Buddhist nun at Lim Pagoda. After acquiring enlightenment, Bamu protected all residents within Lim village from a severe drought. As a result, Lim villagers glorified Bamu as their guardian and the enlightenment date of hers was taken to be the celebration day of Lim Festival. <laughs> thường kỳ là diễn ra trước đây thì lim này thì thuộc là của củ nội dọa thế sau khi đến đầu thế kỷ 18 ấy thì là tách ra thành của thuộc của về của thuộc phủ của thị trấn lim thì bây giờ thì hàng năm thì đến vẫn lấy ngày 13 tháng riêng ấy để lấy cái ngày này để làm lễ hội thì trước đây có ông nguyễn văn thụy và bà mông ni mông ni tức là bà ả mụ ấy thì là có cái công để xây dựng nên xây đắp lên chùa và các ông bà cũng đã có bỏ công sức cũng như là tiền của của mình ra để xây dựng cái ngôi chùa này và tu bổ để gìn giữ cái ngôi chùa này thì vào những cái cuối năm của thế kỷ 19 thì được tu bổ và được khang trang thì và cái cái cái, cái núi lim đây gọi là núi lim núi lim nhưng mà nó gọi là núi hồng ân núi hồng ân và chùa là chùa hồng à, núi hồng vân còn chùa là chùa hồng ân thế thì vì là nó là cái địa hình của nó thấp và bằng phẳng thế do vậy mà người ta không gọi là núi mà người ta thường quen gọi là đồi lim Apart from watching performances of Quan Ho, festival goers can experience weaving competitions among the girls of Noi Du Hamlet. Simultaneously, they weave and sing Quan Ho. Other traditional games such as human chess playing, swinging, wrestling, and goat catching are also held in the festival. <laughs>